Hello, I'm Foxy of Jungle. So the first thing you should do is take a screenshot of your game. In this case, I'm using an image from the game Vividary, made by Wangleline, which, by the way, uses one of my assets, the post-processing FX. The game link is in the description, add it to your Steam wishlist. To capture the game screen, I will use the screenshot tool that comes with Windows. So I will crop the game screen. Then, save our screenshot to my desktop. I'll call it Game Screenshot. Now we have the image. What we must do next is open an image editor program. You can use either one, I'll use Photoshop. Once opened, you will drag the image into the program to open it. And here is our image. The next step is to drag the default LUT image. This is an image with no color modification. All red, green, and blue channels are linear. I'll be leaving the image link in the video description. You need to observe the size of the image, we'll use a 512 by 512, that's enough. Now just select the entire image and copy it with the command control plus C. Then we will paste in a new layer over our screenshot. The next step is to change the canvas size so that we can better see our game screen. Great, now just move our LUT image out of the screenshot. Now it is possible to make our adjustments. You can open the Adjustments window from Window Adjustments. This is the window we need. You can make any changes you want, which will be reflected in the LUT image. I will be adding a little brightness and so on. Watch how our LUT texture changes, cool, isn't it? It is also possible for us to add existing LUTs to modify our custom LUT. Photoshop comes with some built-in LUTs, which is nice. To do this, click on the Create New Fill slash Adjustment Layer icon, then click on Color Lookup. In this window, you can import a LUT.cube file or select Presets. We have several cool and professionally made options. Hey, I like this one. Let's use the Sunset LUT. We can later apply more modifications to the LUT as well. Now select our layer with the LUT image. Then click Quick Export as PNG. And then save the file. I'll save it to the desktop. And here is our custom LUT image, very nice isn't it? Now we will test our LUT image in post-processing FX. Please note that there is no screenshot of the game yet. We will import the game screenshot to simulate the game. Now I will open the example room and define the background that will simulate our game. Running the sample project so I can show you how it looks when using our created LUT. I'm going to disable Bloom in this case so we can better visualize our game. 
For now we are using an already defined LUT, but I will load the one we created. Note that it looks exactly like in Photoshop. I can set the intensity to partially blend with the original game screen. With other LUTs you can get many different effects. It is even possible to use LUTs to correct color blindness, although the post-processing FX already includes an independent effect in this case. Now I will show you how to implement the LUT effect in your game, using post-processing FX. I'll use the basic example to jumpstart the process. There is also a step-by-step -step manual at the documentation link. All you need to do is write, new pp underscore LUT 3D, and set the parameters. I'm going to import our LUT sprite that we created. And then, it's necessary to reference our sprite. Note that you shouldn't just use the sprite name, because the effect calls for a texture. Then use sprite underscore get underscore texture. Compiling the project to see how it turned out. Note that there are several color glitches in the image. This was deliberate to demonstrate that you must enable the separate texture page option on the sprite. This option allows GameMaker to create a unique texture page for the LUT. This way the coordinates of the shader will work correctly. Note that it now works perfectly. And this is what happens if you use the sprite ID directly. You can also set the LUT sprite size here. In this case, I'm using 512 by 512. As there is not exactly Vector2 in GameMaker, I am using an array with two values. So this was the tutorial. Now use your imagination. Check the post-processing FX in the description, it's a package with visual effects for your game made in GameMaker. Its implementation is quite simple, even in an existing game. Thanks for watching. I will be grateful if you can like and subscribe for more content. Not that you have to, of course.